I had to quickly um, completely crush my computer under my heel and reboot it again. Very quickly. So that didn't work. Do we, are, do we want to try again? A second time? Holy shit. I, I, this is, this has been happening in like quite a lot recently and I do really, I really don't like it where I'm, I test everything and then Streamlabs just kills it. What I need to do, frozen video? Oh no. If you can hear me, but you can't see me, try, try refreshing the, the stream. Maybe that'll, that'll work. So something that I'm definitely dealing with is I I, sh I should get like professional streamers should do is they should um they I should uh, they have a separate setup for streaming and playing so the playing can happen and they just like merge in the in midstream in some sort of weird tempo thing what okay let's try this let's <laughs> Like, like, like the priest says in, in, um, Corpse, in, in the very good movie, Corpse Bride. Let's try it again. Well, that won't work, will it? Come on now. There we go. And let's try it again. Oh my god. Okay, no population. Um, 1960, everything has fuel, everything needs energy, yes. <gasps> we have established communism. <laughs> Okay, so what this, as you can see, there's already some stuff on the map. And you would, th and you would think that like, hang on, isn't this cheating? Uh, because the base game doesn't have this. The base game, you, they have some villages and some roads and that's it. Uh, but what I wanted to try, we might not stick with it on like, again, this is for testing purposes. Let's pause the game first. Um, I just want to see how this would work. As it is, because this is a realistic start, which means there are stuff here. However, it is not completely operable. So, like, you know, there's a food factory here, for example. With cargo train station. Can, can, hang on, can you deliver people to, can you deliver people to a cargo train station? I don't think you can, but can you? Otherwise, what is, I don't know. I don't know. Um... Like this, like there's stuff here, for example, there's some mountain roads for like proper like gravel quarries for that, that are there, train aggregate to, to, I'm guessing to load all of the, all this stuff, but there's no roads here, for example. Let's see if I can find a more, uh, example of something else that I mean. Mm, so like the, like here, for example, this rail isn't done. Uh, I know that there's a bridge somewhere that's out. Is that up here, maybe? Yes. So here, for example, this bridge has collapsed. Um, these factories have been overgrown. But other than that, like, you know, there's some train and some like power lines are just not hanging the way they should. Etc. Etc. And the idea then is that like this is supposed to be a bit more like realistic take on the on the base on the base map, where you industrialize like uh, an Eastern European country. Um, and in my in, in my fiction, like re repopulating an area that has been decimated since the World War. However, this honestly, it's too much. It's like, 
it's trains everywhere. And it's not as fun if it's already built for us. So let's quit this. This is interesting. And it was a and it was an interesting look. But if the ha half if half the world of 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 Moldovia is already done, then what's the, then what's the fun? So let's we can start with a populated map. Uh, with a, a low population, let's say. Yeah, let's start. With, let's start with like a low-ish population, and we can work with that. Okay. Good morning. Good morning. It is evening in my place. And this is how the the map looks normally. And it's as you can see, it's far more scaled down. Like there's no train train tracks, there's no train stations, there's no like pre-built industry. You have to build all of that yourself. Which means that we start we start here. In our little home. Our little our little communist home. Mmm okay. Now I think, like most of uh, like established civilization, uh, is here along this river, and so the smart thing to do would be to like build these sort of things together, and like do a sort of like long stretch of city along this river. But uh, because I am a fool and a charlatan, I won't do that. I am going to start here, because this city is far more isolated than other cities, as you can see, and um, uh, which means that like I can expand this how much as I want, and when this is like self-sustainable as a sort of city, uh, I can start expanding into other like towns and modernizing them as well. So I won't need to do anything. Does that make sense? I think that makes sense. Hmm. Okay. So we're gonna make Lecce the site of our new capital. With a proper with a proper name. Uh, I don't remember how the fuck you play this game. <laughs> I'm coming in here like all high and mighty and it's like I don't I don't know what the fuck I'm doing. Okay. We should start with clearing out part of the city a little bit. Like the city center. I like I like these houses, but let's first of all, let's demolish these small, like very small houses, because no one lives in these anyway. Uh so let's start by demolishing them. And uh, from what I've been able to gather, don't worry. If if anyone actually lives here, they get like immediately relocated to, like like the nearest uh, house of good quality. So they actually like move up in sort of in sort of housing quality when you do this. I don't know how I don't know how that works, but you know if it, if it does, it does. The reason I want to get rid of these is because we are going to have far more efficient housing in the ter in the in the form of high rises, which usually also have better quality uh, living standards too. It might also be that if anyone actually lives in these houses, it just doesn't let you demolish it. So either it moves them to somewhere where they can, and if you and if they can't go anywhere, then it will be like, hey, you can't just. These people need to go somewhere. Another reason we're building here, and not starting from complete scratch, is because these houses uh, don't require heating. Which is something that I learned the hard way that houses need now, in the winter. Because if you don't have it, people die. Or they don't die, well they do die, but they also like flee the country. <laughs> Whoop. Which of course to us as, as a communist country, 
is very bad. <laughs> we don't want that. Okay, I see how it is. Bit wonky, but okay. Where I live, uh, bread, bread tube lighting. Listen, it, it's if it works, it works. Um, should you, should you destroy that church? Yeah. So here, here's the interesting thing. In the base game, you can destroy these churches, but people do have a need for religion. But it's called religion sympathy. Uh, but they do get happiness from going there if there if there is a high enough sympathy for religion. So a big part of the game is something that you need to do. Uh, is you need to broadcast anti-church propaganda <laughs> so people don't want to go to church anymore and so that you can't do that but you can but here's what you can do uh, if you if you actually if you, if you decide to be a complete because I mean, you can't build more churches right so what you should do if you're smart in vanilla is you leave these churches and you let them go to them and then when you start broadcasting propaganda then you like start phasing them out slowly however I believe that religion is compatible with uh, our with with our leftist goals, so I'm gonna leave this here. And I also have a mod that lets me build more of them, because uh, I think it's um, like it's supposed to be a sort of like simulation of Eastern Europe under Stalin. I think I guess well, it's the 60s, but still. Um, my God, look at this Stalin-sized field. Anyway. Um, but, but like there is so you know there is like this culture of like anti-religion uh, but I I am the chairman of this party I am the chairman of this of this republic so uh, where you're like isn't there like 10 minutes of sun every day yes there's almost no sun I hate it <laughs> are we growing beans yes Brutalism is quite pretty. I agree. Hello, hello. Welcome to welcome to City Builder streams because that, apparently that's the only thing I play. I do I play Control too, but it's been a while since I played that. Um, okay, we need to set up some infrastructure for what we're supposed to do. We're going to have some industry along like these mountains up here, but like around here, it's going to be mostly like housing, and we're going to have some sort of metro run through here to sort of deliver people to all of their workplaces. But something we do need more than anything right now is we need a construction office. So I'm just going to add one. I'm trying to figure out like what's a good place for it. Like maybe I should have like a like a, a yard for it. Or maybe something here. Yeah, let's put it here. Look okay. it. Okay, so that's building. We're gonna we're gonna remain paused for now. Next, we need coal, and we're gonna need a lot of it. Now, usually, I don't start in this sector of the game. There's actually not a lot of coal here. Oh, they! Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my God! Could we could we build like a train all the way over here? Is, would that be worth it? Look at this cold quality, though. Like, if we... Mm, we just need a way to transport people to the coal mine, and then everything else can be closer to the city, and we can deal with that. Did Stalin come to truce? Yeah, he did. Eventually. But it was only after Stalin's death that, re that like, the church really got back into action. I'm just gonna open more soda. Is it worth having just? Is it worth having like a sort of metro line all the way out here, uh, just for the purposes of a coal mine? Because a bus would take too long. 
where else could we build? like we, if we build a coal mine like here ish we, we we will get coal we just won't get a lot of it could have some here like it's like it's like we have splotches of coal but if we get coal over here we're like we'll never worry about coal ever again because we just need one coal mine here and we can just slurp up all of this. It would be a very long train. Okay, let me think. If we build a train line, actually, yes, 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 yes. yes. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm a, I'm, I'm a genius. We'll have, we'll have the industry on this side of the, of the river as much as we can, right? And then the metro will go over, and there's another bridge going over here. And then this whole area can like be, you know, education. Or like we'll still have some industry over here too, but the, here we'll have like universities, we'll have housing. Like this will be living space, and this will be working space, and they will be separated by the river to keep pollution away. Yes, I like this. By the way, doesn't <laughs> I know that I'm ranting a lot, and I know that I have a lot of insecurity on Twitter, but do people like when I rant about this? I hope, I really hope that I'm not being like annoying playing these games. But then again, why would anyone watch? If I'm annoying, you're doing a hell of a bad job letting me know about it. <laughs> what am I saying? <laughs> I'm ranting. I'm having a weird day. Boatyard. No, we need... Train depot? No. Let's just build with van vanilla stuff for now. So let's, first of all, a train station, a big one. If we demolish these buildings, we can have it like fairly close to the center of town. So let's do that. Train platform. And then we can have that like here. And then people should be able to reach. Yeah, most people can reach that. And we can make that even better with stuff like walking paths and and things like that. Better roads eventually to make it so that people can reach it. Eventually we'll also have like train platforms here and, and other places as well that will all like connect here. Uh, so people can... So more people will be covered by the train station. Okay. So we have that. Let's do some citizen needs. We can we can map out all of this later. Like we'll put a coal refinery here somewhere. We'll put a power plant somewhere here. And then we can have damn clouds. Then we can just sort of have like a lot of industry here. So the we would have like another metro that would just go through here. Drop people off. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That'll be great. Hydrate. I will hydrate. Trains make you happy. Oh, hopefully we're gonna have a lot of trains on this one. Um. Okay, but let's let's do some citizens' needs. Uh, for now, how many people live here? Not a lot of people live in this town. Yes. Let's make this the city center. Um, I can have a small shopping center and that will give, that will provide food, clothes, and electronics. If we do something like... Can I level this terrain a bit? Not really. Hmm. Let's, yeah, let's build a small shopping center in the middle of town. Uh, let's add a pub too, so people can have fun. Add a little football yard if we can fit that in. Perfect. So we have groceries. We don't have, really have cinemas, but one thing I don't like about this game is that cinema is the only type of cultural export, uh, the only type of culture that exists. 
which is why I have a lot of mods that adds more things. So like, for example, like a greenhouse. Because cinema is supposed to be like cultural fun. For ex so like, like, like list a kiosk, for example. I, I think a kiosk would work very well as a sort of like, because you know, that's what people do. Like they gather on the kiosk, they get some magazines, they have, they have a lot of fun. A smaller cinema, for example. <gasps> a Ferris wheel. I like how it uh, tells you it's it's Pripyat. <laughs> we can get like a little smaller thing, a little smaller cinema, and I like these a lot. Let's put a smaller cinema in that corner. I think this is the cinema that they that they have in Moldova. I think. I think the cinema is based on one in Moldova. Mm, can we add an amphitheater? No, it's too big. Greenhouse? Oh! Perfect. Okay, we need to provide people with, with electricity as well. So let's do that. Covers most of town. Let's do that, also covers most of town, but the other half. <laughs> like my construction office, just oh, vibing over there. I haven't forgotten about you, don't worry. Mm, well, that cover, that covers that building, and this will cover that building. So I could do something like this. Oh, shit! Hello! Um... Hello, uh, Lucid Fox Raiders. Hi, my name is Mia Mulder. I'm a lefty YouTuber who does good stuff on the internet. Go watch my videos, they're good. Today I'm playing Workers and Resources. Also, my people, watch out Lucid Fox. Lucid Fox is great. Oh my god, Jesus Christ. Hi everyone, hello, welcome, welcome to, welcome to Muldergrad, we're just starting our, our playthrough of Workers and Resources Soviet Republic. Oh my god. Hi everyone, hello. Jesus. I don't know how to respond to this. Hello. Holy crap, I can't keep up with chat. Hello everyone. It is me. Hello. Thank you, Lisa Fox. You're great too. Yes, I should give a quick intro. Hello, my name is Mia Mulder. Um uh, I make I make YouTube videos. Uh, once a month about trans stuff. I make uh, history content as well uh, And two two times a week sometimes three times a week, but usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays. I play video games and usually city builders um, Yeah, what, what else can I say that's basically what I do Oh my god Well, yeah, so, um, and what, what I'm, what we're doing today is we're building, we're trying at least to build a city in Workers and Resources Soviet Republic, which is a city builder game that's like supposed to be based around like uh, the, the idea around of a planned economy, but for a city builder, which is a, it's a bit of a unique take. Which I've uh, I played this game before, but I'm usually pretty bad at it. Apparently, I can't import power from there, so I have to go up here. That's okay. Uh, and we're going to import a little bit of power just to get our economy started. Uh, but, but yeah, like if any of you have any questions about me or what I do, just feel feel free to let me know. I'm I'm usually pretty good. I am a trans woman. My pronouns are she/her. What else? What else do people say? Fuck! I'm, I don't. I'm bad at streaming. I should know what people do. Um, let's do something like that. It's hella ugly, but that's okay. We're gonna just do a sort of outskirts of town thing. Um, this one we can take down to the river. 
this stretch across like this. That should be electricity for our people. <laughs> Make good videos. This is good. Thank you. Is this similar to City Skylines? Sort of. Uh, City Skylines is way more realistic. Uh, this is way more like resource based in the sense of every single building is built by like concrete or wood or bricks and you can make all of that concrete or wood or bricks and all of that stuff. It's more in line with TTD, yeah, exactly. Um, okay, so we built power lines. We also need... Okay. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to take out like 800 loans for this to work, but that's okay. Uh, we can... Mm, yes, let's do that. Let's put a heating plant. Here as well, like next to that. We're paused now because there's so many things that we need to do at the beginning of the game. Uh, we're going to put a coal storage facility here. We're going to lose a lot of money doing this like initial setup investment, but it will be worth it eventually. Eventually. <laughs> Ideally, I should start doing oil exports, but I feel like that's a bit cheaty. Uh, we need coal. Which means we need to make a coal or re... Uh, yes, coal or... Res rip, 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 rip. Uh, well... It's not real, that's not really gonna work the way I want it to. If I do... If I do this, that might work. And then we, we use conveyor belts to transfer it from, from this. And this will be our general coal storage. And we can move things out of there later if we want to. How old am I? I'm 27. I'm 27 years old, even though I feel like I'm 800 years old. I'm gonna increase the volume actually because the music in this game slaps, but let me know if it's too much. Also, thank you everyone for following. Holy shit. Uh, okay. Yeah, so exactly. So we're, we, we're gonna. But this is a like the game in Microcosm basically. We need to provide power to our build to our the buildings in Moldergrad, which is part of my name. Um, so that our citizens will be happy. We also need to pay, place out schools and shit, but we can do that later. In order to do that, we need to to burn coal in a coal power plant, and also to provide heating, so we're gonna burn coal here too. We need a place to store that coal, but we also need a, a place to process coal ore. <sighs> However, <laughs> there is no coal close, close to where the city is. Which means we have to, like for example, look, there's just red, no coal, there's no coal in town. There's like some splotches here of coal, but that's not, that's no good. So we are going to take a bit of a uh, economic risk and build a coal, our coal plant over here. But that's a bit far away. But actually now that we're, now that we're doing it, we may as well place down the coal mine. The coal quality here should be like stellar coal quality. But now we need to get the coal ore from here into the coal ore processing plant. Which means first of all we need a place to store. Um, stole the coal ore when it first comes out from the plant. But what- oh, no we need people to go there. Fuck. I was thinking maybe we could put up a- we can still do that. We could do that. I was first gonna plan on having like a train pick up coal ore and drop it off here because we're gonna have a train line go go here to drop off miners but we don't actually need to do that do we does this game allow you to scale to green energy options uh you can if you have if you mod it into the game 
so I have wind power turbines and stuff like that. I have solar plants, I have hydroelectrics. But that's modded and I kind of feel, I feel better when I have like used vanilla stuff more generally and then when it transition into this sort of modded game once the game is up and running. Kind of like Frostpunk, sort of. Mm, okay, actually, yeah, let's... Um... But yeah, let's let's just have a bunch of like uh, conveyor belts take the coal ore across this mountain range. It's a bit expensive to 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 do this, especially if we're not like setting up a road system to reach it. But that's you know that's that's actually okay. And let's put some storage down for that too. Something along those lines. So the idea is, a mi miners come in from town over here via train. Eventually I'm going to set up a train station. They work in the mine. Coal ore is transported all the way over here across the mountain to the, the storage facility. The coal ore processing plant processes it, transfers it to this storage facility, where it is divided up between the coal power plant and the coal uh, heating plant. Uh, both of which will become will go back into here, and hopefully, if we have excess coal that we don't need. Like if we have too much coal and we're just outproducing the needs of our city, uh, we can export that coal. But that's something we're gonna go into later, because this is a planned economy. We don't actually have money within the town, but we need money to import and export things. I'm a benevolent god. I'm not a benevolent god. I'm an evil god. This is gonna cost me so much money when I unpause. Okay, so we have all of that. What we need now is we need, how expensive is that? 2.6, almost double expensive. Okay, so we're gonna build a wood-based, a wood-based railway, I think, to sort of get us started. We're gonna build a small train platform here. Some gravel roads. Eventually, you can you can build all of this manually. Right now, I'm like importing the resources and the manpower to to build all of this. Like I'm importing work workforces from the Soviet Union to do this, which is why it's costing me so much. But eventually, if I can provide the resources myself, such as coal or wood or whatever, I can build stuff for free. Although it will take time because you know. Buildings, things actually take time. Um, 70 kilometers an hour isn't very quick, but hopefully it will take us where we need to go. Mm. We're just setting up, like this is a temporary, very temporary, like, type of structure. Because the idea is that they're gonna go, I'm gonna have a metro that's gonna go in a loop. We'll expand on that later. Don't you worry. Let's kind of skirt the road a little bit. Symmetrical. Okay, let's see if they can come down to meet us here. If you end up building loads of cinemas, they'll probably end up showing mostly Bollywood movies. They were really popular in the USSR because they couldn't get Hollywood. Oh, that's interesting. There was a, there were there was definitely a very like strong uh, like Soviet film industry as well. Uh, that's true. 
Let's build a railway bridge. Maybe up from from this all the way up there. Would that would that be would that be stupid? Yeah, it's too it's too it's too much. So, but if we build a, a railway bridge from up there, we may as well build it all the way across, right? Something like that. Can I connect that up from up here? No, I don't think I can. Maybe I can. Oh, I can. Sick. Make these connect to the ground. Huh, that's actually significantly cheaper than I thought it would be. Huh, look at that. Uh, okay, how are people feeling? They're not super happy because I've. Well, I've only been playing for a couple of days. Um, do oh, they have a electricity? They do! Sick. My import, my imported power is working. Cool. We've done that for a while. Now let's set up some, some schools. Let's set up, uh, that should cover most people, I feel like. Whatever, I can't, I can't, that doesn't fit, but that's okay. Now what we need to build are kindergartens. And if you watch me stream this game before, you know you can never have enough kindergartens. Because apparently, the one thing they all did in the Soviet Union, constantly, was fuck. Gothic church. So, these older buildings, like these old city and this one, the, that was all built, that, that comes with the game. The idea behind the game is that you are sort of in charge of industrializing an Eastern European country. Uh, with whatever that like means, you know? So... The sort of my, like there's no story obviously, it's on, it's on like an open world, it's an open world city builder, you can do whatever you want. Uh, but the story that I've sort of constructed in my own mind is that this is like some sort of micronation that was basically completely evacuated, com like entirely during the Second World War. And it's taken like a long time to sort of do everything administratively, but now we're actually like resettling this. And there are still people living here, you know. Uh, but now, like, finally, like, this, this area is going to get, like, modernized and this area is going to, like, it's got the all clear. <laughs> that, that bridge. <laughs> Listen. <laughs> I also like that it, it goes from up to down, even across the river. Like, it's not, it's not parallel with the water, which is... I'm sure gonna give a lot of people anxiety, but I do like that it also like goes over the land, like across this like little, little bump. I like that a lot. I think this is a good bridge. There's a lo even lower bridge over there for cars, so. There's a rail bridge passing over the big inlet and thought it was about that was really neat. Oh, I wanna see this. I want to see this bridge. Oh no! Well... Okay, let's continue on our railway adventure. What? Um, so we need a train depot. 
Because, uh, as with everything else in this game... Uh, okay, we're gonna go with the right-hand traffic, which means we need to do something like that. Okay, let's loop this out a little bit. Let's set up some some signals to let everything know where it's supposed to go. Mm -hmm. Let's put something here. And before and after this station. And we're gonna put up a tram. No, we can't. We need a fuel depot because this is a wood rail and not electric. I almost always go electric, but that's not what this is. We have to put in a diesel <laughs> refueling station somewhere. Oh my god, I'm like struggling today. That's okay. We can just delete a uh, part of this, I think. And it can sort of operate like so. What is this? I don't even know what that is. Whatever. Okay, let's delete some of that give it give it a little bit more space let's hook that up to there so the my my thinking is that like coming back and forth from the coal mine oh did i buy did i buy electrified oh my god holy shit oh my god I'm like i'm i mean i guess it's fine like it doesn't have to be electrified right now can I upgrade the other ones to electric? I can. But no, wait, what? Th these don't look to be electric. Hang on, what? What? Why is this... We... We... Because this is a train diesel station. The... I don't fucking know. I don't care. I don't give a shit. Whatever. Anyway, so this will buy fuel automatically from the Soviet Union. We will eventually make our own fuel. Last icon in the train menu. No, no, I made a, I made a diesel station, so. I don't know what that's all about. Hey, thank you, uh, Squid Pie Meow Face, for subbing. Thank you very much. You're helping me buy, uh, you're helping me pay rent and to buy more makeup, because I need it. I'm running diesel trains, yeah. Is this a game running? Is this the game music? This is the game's music. The music for the game is amazing. But okay, let's buy some. Uh, let's buy a diesel. Oh, all the tram. Oh my god, I'm so freaking stupid. Well, I mean, we can just buy a train. We don't necessarily have to do a tram, right? We can buy a train. 
we're, we're gonna upgrade all of this later anyway, so who, who cares? Let's just buy a train set. Let's buy... Like, we can buy two sets of this. Because that would practically work as a, as a thing, right? So let's, let's test it out to see if our track will work. This is only for workers. This train is only for workers. For This is the coal mine track. Okay. Off to a great start. No, <laughs> we have people waiting. The, the coal mine doesn't have power actually, so I should... Even for a test run, I should probably finish setting up like all the infrastructure that I need to do. I need to build roads here too, but let's do that later. Mm. You're building. Good, good, good. All of these things also need power. Including the train station. Substation stones actually need a road connection though, which is a good thing to remember. Um... The only thing that they need a road connection for is in case of a fire. So, like, now, sort of initially, we can be a bit more, sort of, uh, chaotic with the, uh, with the setup of it. Because we can, we can always just fix it later. And, as we all know, perfect is the enemy of good, so... So let's build a medium voltage switch, first of all, so we can start splitting up that power. Mm, we need to do the same here. Uh, we don't need to do the same here, because the power will go all the way. Cool. Apparently, this is a, in a bad angle, so let's go rebuild that. I don't give a fuck. Come on now. Let me. Let let me, Adam. Let me. There we go. Connect that up. Connect that up. And connect that up. And the lights turn on in the mines. <laughs> The train is starting go. It started has begun to go. Sick. Let's um How are people feeling? Or I hope people are not like unhappy in my society so far. And so far they're pretty good. No, I wanted to observe that. So here it is refueling. And it is going. It's going slow as fuck. Hopefully it doesn't go too slow, because if if they spend too much time traveling in the same vehicle, they will just, like, disappear. Well, I, I'm guessing they go home. Okay. While this is going, I'm gonna read the channel a bit. If I redeem a video, do you watch it now or later? I'll watch it, um, it depends on the, it kind of depends on the mood, but I will probably save it until later. Like, I'll open it up, but I'll save it until later. Wow. You can run decent trains on the left right away. Yeah, I know, but it's a weird. The brave work's going through the mines. Yeah. Oh shit, wait, hang on. <laughs> can they work? Oh cool, they can. <laughs> for a second I thought that for a second I thought I had forgotten to add a road between the train station and uh, uh <laughs> and the mine. <laughs> Which is like why would I even build the fucking thing then? You're gonna like the way I have I have a plan to transport workers to the coal factory though. This train's very slow, but you know what? It doesn't, it doesn't have to go that fast. 
Like, it's going fairly well. Plus, the quality of coal is 55%, which is very good. I've, I've run entire countries on, like, 2 or 3%. So, this should be very... Oh! And here are our little citizens going to work. And the coal mine is extracting a lot of coal, which is being transported along... Diligently across the mountain and into our coal aggregate storage. Cool. Uh, let's add our second train to do the exact same thing. So that we always have workers in the mines. Because otherwise, um, you know, we don't want we don't want people to sort of we don't want the mine to just work occasionally, we want the mine to work constantly. And you are going back on the right track? Perfect! We have a train loop. We have our first train set! Go us! And we're actually like doing way better with money than I thought we would be. So with that said, let's start building a way for people to get here. And to do that, we need to set up just some general infrastructure for this sort of industrial area. painted myself into a corner here but that's okay because I can fix that no problem I know how to do that let's just build something like so look at this beautiful almost squid like pattern Um, there's dirt roads from this up road here, so let's cut up here. Train going. Thank you. Sure, train going slow, but train going. Go train, go! Okay, so we have that. Um, let's add in some footpaths. Because footpaths are, like, without a doubt, the most powerful thing this game has. Because footpaths can go where normal feet, can, where normal roads cannot, uh, which means uh, you end up in a situation where. Oh, come on now. Small cable way, like so. And my idea here is I'm gonna have a cable way go across the river. I may have to build like a small island for, for, a, for a pole to go on, but then people can like ferry back and forth. And the reason I'm doing that is because a train comes maybe like once or every couple of minutes. Uh, and a a tram comes like every couple of minutes. Like a train will come every few hours in game time, right? And uh, that but uh, and that means that like people will work for a couple of hours and then they will stop working and they will go home. Uh, well, they will teleport home because there's no mechanic for people to actually like take the train home yet. Uh, and for the mines and for most industries, that's fine. Like, they go to work and they work in shifts. Like, someday, sometimes it just doesn't do that much work until the next train arrives, and that's fine. But what, what two industries where you can't have that happen is heating and power. Because if the heating goes out, people freeze to death. If the power goes out, people freeze to death. So what you, we need, like, a constant stream of people coming in to do the work. Uh, and if you have, like, another cable car coming in, because they come in every second, roughly, 
and there's a person going there, they will come into work, they will work for five hours, and when they clock out, they will, the person behind them will have like another 10 minutes to go, and there will always be like another person to work, to work there. Um, so, you know, that's fun. <laughs> Does that make sense? I hope so. So I'm gonna build that here. And you may think it's like, oh, it's too close to the train line, but what you can do in this game is you can designate where exactly you want the citizens to go. So for example, I can be like, this house, this house is only, this house only belongs to the workers who work in the uh, power plants in this area, right? So they work there, they go, they go directly to the cableway station, and then they go directly to work here. And that's all that that house does. But you can also select multiple things. For example, they may work in the sports arena, and the bar, and also the coal mines. So like, there is like, you know, There are other ways to do it. Oh, someone had. Uh, I'm gonna. Ch I'm gonna quickly just check if a video is okay to watch later. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll, um. Yeah. Actually, you did. I'm. I'm gonna. I'm gonna be true to my word here. And uh, and actually watch that now. Because you did submit that 4,000 points is, is 4,000 points. And I want to respect that as much as I can. So let's watch it. First of all, I need to set up the window in order to do that. Hello? I also just need to turn down the the very good commu communist tunes. Hopefully the game doesn't crash on me while I try to do this. Ronald Reagan video. Yes, we're gonna watch a Ronald Reagan video. If I can get the thing to work... Christ! Show me... I cannot get it to work. Problematique. What if I just do like this? Oh my God. That will work. If I can just adjust the window size, holy shit. And the reason I'm doing this is because I want, I, you know, when people, when people submit their 4,000 viewing points, I want that to feel real. So, this is as real as you can get. And, hwaba! Okay, let's watch. I don't, I have no idea what this is going to be. Let's watch. Uh, the, the Modern Little Red Hen, as told by Ronald Reagan, 40th President of the United States. I don't know what this is. About a year ago, I imposed a little poetry on you. It was called The Incredible Bread Machine and made a lot of sense with reference to matters economic. You didn't object too much, so having gotten away with it once, I'm going to try again. This is a little treatise on basic economics called The Modern Little Red Hen. Once upon a time, there was a little red hen who scratched about the barnyard until she uncovered some grains of wheat. She called her neighbors and said, if we plant this wheat, we shall have bread to eat. Who will help me plant it? Not I, said the cow. Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the pig. Not I, said the goose. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. The wheat grew tall and ripened into golden grain. 
Who will help me reap my wheat? Asked the little red hen. Not I, said the duck. Out of my classification, said the pig. I'd lose my seniority, said the cow. I'd lose my unemployment compensation, said the goose. Then I will, said the little red hen, and she did. At last it came time to bake the bread. Who will help me bake bread, asked the little red hen. Oh, that'd be overtime for me, said the cow. I'd lose my welfare benefits, said the duck. I'm a dropout and never learned how, said the pig. Well, if I'm to be the only helper, that's discrimination, said the goose. Then I will, said the little red hen. She baked five loaves and held them up for her neighbors to see. They all wanted some and, in fact, demanded a share. But the little red hen said, no, I can eat the five loaves myself. Excess profits, cried the cow. Capitalist leech, screamed the duck. I demand equal rights, yelled the goose. And the pig just grunted. And they painted unfair picket signs and marched round and round the little red hen, shouting obscenities. When the government agent came, he said to the little red hen, You must not be greedy. But I earned the bread, said the little red hen. Exactly, said the agent. That's the wonderful free enterprise system. Anyone in the barnyard can earn as much as he wants. But under our modern government regulations, the productive workers must divide their product with the idle. And they lived happily ever after, including the little red hen, who smiled and clucked, I am grateful, I am grateful. But her neighbors wondered why she never again baked any more bread. I guess a lot of us have been wondering something like that. Incidentally, if you'd like to have a copy of The Modern Little Red Hen, don't write me, but write the station to which you're listening, and they'll send you a copy. This is Ronald Reagan. Thanks for listening. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, sure. That's not really. That's not. That's not really how. Um, I think. I th